What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, we pretty much got the last of the Jiggies here in uh, Pterodactyl Land finished up, but we still have one more left that we can do at the moment. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head on into the Oogle Boogle Cave. Let's split up with Banjo and Kazooie. Why do I have so little health? Oh my goodness, this is really ridiculous. I actually keep running into this problem in this level, which is not good because it does not bode well for the future since this level has nothing on some of the later levels. Now, what you're going to want to do is we're going to have to do this fall thing again, and I'm going to try, and maybe in vain, but I will certainly try to cushion my fall with Banjo's pack whack on the way down. Come on. Oh, come on, that still killed me? Seriously? Ah, that makes me upset. Okay, well, at least we have full health now. Let's try that once more with feeling. I don't know, maybe maybe the pack whack actually doesn't cushion the fall at all. Because I know there's, like, a lot of abilities that if you try to use them in midair, they look like they slow you, but they don't actually slow your momentum at all, and you'll still take damage. But we're going to certainly try that again. I can't believe how many times I've died to this fall. I know it's only been twice, that, but that's still two times too many. Is that going to count? Okay, no, it actually did count that time. Good. So, we're going to want to head on in here. And we are going to want to use our taxi pack on the sickly one. And make sure that you have the train in the station first. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier if you do that. But let's take you for a little trip. We're going to the doctor's office. So, I uh, just need to go over to the train station. And then we are going to be heading off. Oh, sir. Get out of here. Uh, and then we're going to be actually heading out over to the overworld and dealing with that. This is this is one of the more interesting jiggies, I will say, because of this particular step alone. So let's just slide down here. Get a little bit of a butt rash. And uh, head on into the cave and go say hi to Chuffy. And by that, I mean just kind of dump the baby out inside the... Oh, well, it's not a baby. The, ch the child out inside of the wagon car. What's up guys? How you doing? Don't just don't mind me. I'm just trying to just trying to drop off a customer here. So we are going to do this. There we go. Whoa, that freaking went flying. So now all we got to do is reunite with Kazooie and unfortunately my usual strategy when they're very far apart of well actually, oh, I can just do this. No, no, no. I'm just going to go back. It's no real freaking point in doing this. I I just need, I need to go all the way back to Clifftop anyway with the both of them. But my usual strategy whenever they're split up and they're very far apart is to just straight up kill the partner because then you'll just spawn back at the split pad. So, I can't do that this time though. I mean, it's certainly not going to be more efficient, but whatever. How, no, question, how is this so steep? Also, uh, there's a split pad right there and I, I kept forgetting about it. My bad! Uh, but anyways, um, how is that too steep but then going up to where the, uh, where the cave is isn't that steep? Also... I want to see what we got going on right here really quickly, just before we get on out of here. I think this is actually the way out of this world, but I want to be absolutely sure. So let's head on over this way. What do we got? Oh, okay. There is another one over here. I wanted to make sure of that just because I didn't... Uh, I, I thought I maybe had missed a, uh, one of these Oogle Boogles, but I wasn't exactly sure. But I guess there's three, so glad I was able to do that. Be warm, but still need food. But you're still shivering. Oh, no, you're okay now. All right, well, we, need, we still need to get you food. That'll, that'll come in due time. Don't you worry, guys. I promise. Now, let's head back over this way and get on out to Clifftop. Okay, so we have been holding on to this Globo for quite a while, so it's about time that we actually spend it and head on into Mumbo's Skull. Um, well, b before I do that, actually, I want to call Chuffy into the station. Get out of here. I wanna, yeah, I want to call Chuffy into the station real quick and make sure that that gets done first. So, pardon me, but I'm going to head back down here. Yeah, yeah, viewing the cave paintings and pterodactyl. I like how there's like a little bit of flavor text to that, but whatever. All right, in you go, Chuffy. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh, there's a cave painting of a train. I never even noticed that. That's kind of adorable. Gosh, that cannot be a very nice ride. I mean, I get it. It's supposed to be like a super old train as is, but seriously. Also, I love how there's just one of those enemies just hanging out down there in a place you'd never see them. Just taking up cartridge space <laughs> in this part of the level. 
I mean, it's not like it really matters, but it's still like it's in in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. It's just funny. I just like how they. I did not mean to do that at all. I meant to do this. Excuse me. I was holding right because I was trying to maneuver the camera, and unfortunately, I was. I it it registered that before it registered my right trigger press, but whatever. In we go. All he's got is some honeycombs in here, which is fine. I'm just gonna take those. Thank you very much. And let's finally give this guy this Globo. Hi, Mumbo. What's your like? So, what's your whole modus operandi in this part of the world, huh? Well, believe it or not, it's actually a pretty darn simple one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. A little bit too much pop and circumstance here. Let's go. I just love that. There's no way. There's no way he fits that wand in there. Absolutely not. In fact, I mean, honestly, well, I don't want. I don't want to speak too much to the guy's uh, assets, but I, I can't. I can't imagine he is able to fit his other wand in there either. It's so negligible. This is hilarious. <laughs> he could, I could pretty much just do that infinitely. Anyway, uh, let's just do this thing. So we got a mumble pad right here, and once Chuffy's here, all you have to do. Once you got the sick dinosaur over here, is his heal six uh, sick Tyrakosaurus, and finally we'll be able to deal with its ailments, which is pretty awesome. And obviously, after the fact, now we just need to head back on over to Pterodactyland, call the train into the station, and the jiggy will be ours. You okay? Yeah, it's all happy now. Look at that! Isn't that adorable? Gosh, Mumbo, you got some crazy powers. It's amazing that you're limited to exactly just, you know, the pad, and you can't do anything else. Anyway, that right there is the only application that you will have for Mumbo in this area for the entirety of the game, which is hilarious because it compels in comparison to Wumba's uh, single use in uh, her overworld location because it gives you, like, one of the best things in the entire game, and unfortunately we're not using it for this Let's Play, and I'm still salty about it, and I'm never going to live it down. All right. Up we go. Like, gosh, if only, like, if the 64 version had a consistent frame rate, because it really absolutely doesn't, there's no question I would be playing that edition, but it doesn't, and that's what, that's the part that sucks the most about it. Like, if it could just be a consistent 30, even, but it isn't even that. It drops down to, like, 15 or lower, oftentimes, and it's very annoying. I mean, I can, I kind of get it. This game was sort of pushing the limitations of the N64, like, sort of. Because it definitely has like a not not I don't think it is necessarily in terms of like fidelity or anything like that, but probably in terms of like the amount of stuff in the game. Cause it's got a lot. It really does. I don't know. I could be totally uneducated on that, but I do feel like this game. I mean, I felt like Banjo Kazooie was already kind of pushing things, and this game just takes it to a whole nother level. So actually, what am I doing? I just need to go call it into the station. Yeah, I don't think we need to split up again. I don't need to taxi it back. So, let's bring Chuffy on over here. You know, you're not fooling anybody by changing the Jinjo color every single time we come in here. I do not want that. Thank you very much. Wait, there's a coast? Oh, I guess that kind of technically makes sense since Jolly Rogers Lagoon is over there. But, you can't, like, see it from here. I don't know. That's That seems a little strange to me. Wouldn't really call that a coast. I would really just call it a, an abyss. I don't know if you'd want to relax by an abyss. That just, I don't know, that seems a little frightening to me. Like, let's be honest. If that existed in real, and I'm sure, you know, it absolutely does. Like, especially in, like, certain caves and certain parts of the world. But just the, the thought of looking at an abyss, like something you legitimately can't see the bottom of at all, is, like, one of the least uh, or the most disconcerting things I've ever thought of in my entire life. And I don't know. Just the implication of that would not, if I was anywhere near it, would not keep me relaxed at all. Anyway, there we go. I can't thank you enough. Please accept this shiny thing I acquired when I trod on one of those ungabungas. <laughs> I love it. And I love how she just gives it to us, too. We worked really hard for you. Any chance of another jiggy? No. Ah, uh, fair enough. All right, and that is it for Pterodactyl Land, everybody. So, for the rest of this episode, let's first head on back over to Glitter Gulch Mine. Okay, so we're going to quickly head on to the pad, and we're going to go, I believe... 
near the train station? I think it's near the train station. I'm pretty sure this is the spot. Um, and then we're gonna want to head over here. Is this is this correct? This was not correct. Gosh dang it. Well, we're pretty close to it. I'm pretty positive. All we gotta do is follow the river a little bit. And I'm sure we'll run into it soon enough. Maybe I am wrong. I know the waterfall is close by. Is it? Is it actually? Okay, no, it's over this way. It's on the opposite side of the freaking map. Well, maybe I didn't need to use that warp pad after all. Gosh, heckin' dang it. Okay, it was over by the crushing shed. That's the one I should have gone to. My bad. So all we gotta do is just go on over here and break through this box. And then from here, just go... Actually, that's the wrong way. You wanna go around. So I hope I don't run out of my timer here. Ah, crap. Quick, 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 quick. Jump! Oh, we barely made that. All right, give me that jiggy. And we are done here in this level. Now, we're not going to quite leave. Uh, I'm not going to quite cut to Witchy World immediately because I might as well stop by Honeybee and get myself an, uh, a health upgrade before we're done uh, with this episode. And we also still have one to go get in, I believe, Jolly Rogers Lagoon as well. So, yeah, still a few more things left to do in this episode, but we'll get it all done. Don't you worry. I, I know I've made the last like few episodes a little bit longer. But that is okay, I think. I don't know. That's what I personally believe. If you have a problem with it, then don't watch the video. <laughs> All right. In we go. Especially because I'm sort of kind of procrastinating getting into Gruntus Industries. And I'm trying to make up for the fact that for those first two episodes in Pterodactyl Land, we didn't do jack. So, yeah. One extra. Let's do it. Yeah, I think... Wait, no. I didn't mean to actually do that. Gosh dang it. I know they're no use to me. I didn't mean to do that. No! What the fr- Okay, I'm clicking to it through it too fast. I, I need to stop doing that. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> yes, do you want to trade? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's do it. Give me that upgrade, please. We only have one upgrade after this, but it, of, of course it costs nine, which means it's going to take forever to get that. But look at that! Nine health. Not bad at all. That should hopefully satiate us for a while. All right, now! My goodness, I can't believe I freaking funneled around this much. Now, let's head on over to Witchy World and take care of that situation, which should be pretty darn quick as well. So, just straight to the Pine Grove. All we gotta do is go to the lava area, where I believe, I believe that's where the big chunky kid was. I think this is the last Jiggy in this world as well. So, head on over here, and Mumbo Skull. Alright, where is that split up pad? I think it's just right over, yep, right over here. Alright, so all we gotta do for this particular uh, Jiggy is we gotta go over to this kit and use the taxi pack on him. I know, amazing that we can actually fit this chonker in there, but it's, it's doable. Somehow it's doable. So, in you go. Yeah, wow, jeez, that, like, <laughs> that little animation of him shrinking into the pack was kind of amazing. But, all we gotta now do is go right back to the world entrance and say hi to Mom. Oh, she's probably not gonna be very happy, is she? Here's your kid. Can I, can I do the, can I do the thing? Can I talk to you? Wait, do I? There it is. I can't see mom here. Wait, but I freaking did it. There we go. Golly. This wasn't let me do it for a minute there. What did I tell you about not running off? I'm sorry, mom. Oh my gosh, he has quite the butt crack. Sorry isn't good enough, young man. You've been eating again, haven't you? Well, you'd still better want your dinner. It was that strange bear, mom. He made me eat this burger. Enough of your lies. <laughs> oh my gosh, woman, chill out. Well, I think we've all had enough excitement today. Time to go back home to Hellfire Peaks. But uh, Boggy will be wondering where we've gone to. He'd better have the dinner in the oven. Probably doesn't. Bye then. Thanks again, Banjo. That's a far cry from the ch the children in Freeze Easy Peak, where they literally, <laughs> where they literally didn't even have any food because their dad was dead, or they, at least they thought he was dead. But uh, awesome. Okay, I think, I'm not positive, but I think I can just try to straight up leave as Banjo and it will just reunite us. I hope. I really hope I'm allowed to do that. No! Gosh, what if I, what if I wanted to leave you, Kazooie? 
You're not leaving this world without me. That's pretty great. All right, I will see you all in Jolly Rogers Lagoon in a second. So let's go get that last one. Now, I believe we need to go uh, just right here. Yes, indeed. And split up into Kazooie. And then just head on through Mumble's skull. And go hatch Tip Top's egg for him. I know Banjo said something about Kazooie never wanting to see another egg for the rest of the game. Well, tough luck. But we got one more to hatch. At the very least, one more to hatch. So let's head on through. I'm just going to kill you because I feel like it. Even though you didn't drop me any honeycombs. How dare you. And just hop up on there. Oh, come on. What the? No, I didn't mean to start the animation like that. Let's let's try that again once we're feeling. This is a little, a very little egg. Can I get on this? Oh my gosh, this is actually very difficult. What the heck? Why is your egg so tiny, Tip Top? I mean, I mean, it, it makes sense, but also, apparently, I can't stand on it. Why? No, Kazooie, I know you can do this. And I was just praising your controls like in the last episode, and now I'm getting punished for it. This, this is embarrassing. This is actually embarrassing. Why is this so hard to stand on? Oh my gosh, finally. Jeez, that was so ultra precise. Baby time. Aw, oh, look at it. It's adorable. I love how it just tumbles out. Thank you so much. Wait, something looks odd. Oh no, he's upside down. Oh, what are we going to do about this? I mean, he's tipped up. <laughs> yeah, it, it, come on. It is funny. All right, we'll get him. Just a second. Boom. Oh, that's much better. I found this buried in the sand. It's yours. Now, come along, son. I'll take you to meet all your sisters. Wait, how many sisters does he have? Also, that's kind of hilarious. Wait, where are you even going? Look at it. It's so cute. Go, little turtle. Go. I love how it's doing a little baby laugh, too. Did it, did it go? Oh, okay. It's gone. But seriously, where does that go? There's like nothing over that way. You know what? It doesn't even freaking matter. Ladies and gentlemen, that was going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. I hope you all enjoyed it very much. In the next episode, we're heading on into World 6. An even more complicated, convoluted, and confusing level than the last one. Hope you're all ready for it. See you all then.